look at um, the Gleam WordPress theme, which is a premium WordPress theme, uh, and how to configure it. Um, it's a very visual theme, but there are definitely some quirks um, that we're going to go through here, and we're going to be using uh, this uh, contractor, A&D Exteriors, which is uh, an exterior contractor um, based out of Bartlett, Illinois. So I've gone ahead and already selected um, a real cool background image from their portfolio. And uh, I'm going to go down here to Gleam Theme Options. I'm going to click on the Home Page tab and upload an image. And uh, I'm going to use this. And this is going to appear as the general background image throughout the entire site. This one, 640 by 480. I um, want to narrow it up a little bit so it kind of matches the the background a little bit more. I'll crop it. I'll go ahead and save. Then I'm going to click Use for a home page background image and I'm going to save it. So we'll come over here. Let me hit refresh. There we go. So we got our background image set. Um, and so when you uh, enter the home page, uh, there's this cool little JavaScript uh, mouse over here. Um, but we want to uh, configure the title and the uh, tagline a little bit better. So um, these guys are A and D exteriors. Um, exterior services and Bartlett. So we'll go back here to general logo text. Um, actually, you know, right now I think believe what it's pulling from is going to be the uh, site title and tagline here, unless I'm mistaken. Website title and tagline. So let's write, let's punch in here Bartlett exterior contracting. Let's do exterior home services. Bartlett Exterior Home Services. There we go. Let's try that. Let's save that. Let's go back here to the Gleam theme options. And let's go ahead and set this to A and D Exteriors. And let's go ahead and look. Alright, great. We got the title proper right now and the tagline here. Um, I've gone ahead and added in a, a number of subpages. So, you know, if you'd look at one of these, for instance, like let's take a look at the about page. Um, it's got a real cool kind of effect here that lets you kind of scroll through the various pages in the site that uh, I'm going to gradually be setting up. Um, pages are just going to be set up uh, just like any other pages in WordPress. There's not a lot of uh, quirks as far as that's concerned. There is a contact page here uh, that it's worth taking a quick look at. Let's go back here. Let's take a quick look at the contact page. We want to make sure that template is set to contact page, which it is. And then here, as you can see, email too, we're going to want to enter the actual contractor's email address here to make sure that that contact page, um, when it's filled out and hit, when the user hits submit, uh, they're actually going to transmit that email directly to the contractor. Um, the press page and the portfolio page uh, we can set up just like any other uh, pages throughout the site. Um, portfolio page is here. Another quick quirk here. As you can see, uh, there's a little item here which is Hello World. Um, and that's a, a quirk associated with the gallery page template. We're not going to use the gallery page. We're just going to go ahead and use a default template. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just refresh this real quick. And as you can see, that post is gone. Uh, what the theme does is when the gallery template is set, it, some PHP is going to run and it's going to pull in um, recent posts. Um, but you know, for this particular site, if we if we're not going to have blog postings, we don't want that to show up there. So um, we're going to go ahead and just use the default template 
and um, when we add our images in, we're gonna we're gonna basically add a go ahead and add a gallery in, um, you know, and just to kind of show a quick um, example how that's done. Let's go select these two files, for instance. We're going to save all changes. And then we're going to go ahead and insert that gallery. We're going to update. Let's take a look at the page. There we go. There's like a nice little jQuery lightbox here. Um, now this theme comes in, comes built in with the, J, the with the jQuery Lightbox. So if we go to plugins, we're going to actually not install the uh, WordPress jQuery Lightbox because this theme already comes with one. So if we install that, it's going to create a, a very odd effect uh, that we want to avoid. Um, so we have our portfolio set. Now let's go back here. Back to the home page. We have all our, our sub pages here. There's our portfolio. And there we go. There's a gallery. We have our nav down here. And uh, now we just need to go fill all the uh, various pages in with content.